Right then, hello everyone and welcome to today's webinar. I'm Charlotte, I'm a Marketing Executive at Forever UK Head Office. Um, today we are going to be looking at the best products to use during and after your holiday. Um, today's webinar is hosted by Louise and We are recording this webinar um, and both the slides and the recording will be available afterwards on Forever Knowledge um, as usual. So don't, if you don't manage to get everything down in notes, then you're covered, don't worry. <laughs> um, so just a quick disclaimer before we get started. Um, this information or the information in this presentation is for the UK and Ireland. Um, we've created it to be correct under those regulations. So if you are tuning in from a different country, some of the information might not quite be relevant to you. It might be different products or whatever. So just bear that in mind. And now I would like to hand over to Louise. Take it away. <laughs> well, good evening, everybody. Uh, for those of you who don't know who I am, my name is Louise Riley, and uh, I started my journey with Forever back in uh, 1996, 1997 time. Um, and for me, uh, it was a time in my life when I was looking for changes. I had recently become a single mum to triplets and I was looking for something that was going to give me the time and the flexibility to support the children and be a mum. And I really didn't know what I was going to do. And then I was introduced to Forever Living by my now second husband, Ashley, who had started his journey with Forever a year before I met him. It was in 1998, after I'd been in the business for nearly two years, that the company asked me to start training on the products. And that's because I have a background in the beauty industry, but also hold qualifications in nutrition, weight management and sports performance. So with that in mind, over the last uh, 21 years now, I have not only um, been um, a business owner, just like everybody else, uh, doing what we do as business owners, uh, but also training for the company and covering areas which include skincare, weight management, sports performance, and also nutritional supplements. So what I'm going to do with the presentation this evening is give you a little bit of an overview to products that you can use in your body and on your body where you're going to get yourself ready for your holidays. And I know we're in the middle of August now, but uh, people are still thinking about going away on holiday or indeed people nowadays tend to go away on holiday after the school holidays and especially people that don't have children um, and so people will still be going away into September as well as October. My daughter actually lives in the south of France and going down to the south of France in August for me I find it uh, a little bit overwhelming so I enjoy my holidays in September if I go and visit my daughter and of course everything that I'm talking about to you about this evening, they are products that, that I use and have also experienced in the way that I'm going to share with you. So if we can have the first slide then, please. Okay, so the first slide that you can see is our aloe vera drinking gel. And you might think, well, <laughs> why are we talking about aloe vera drinking gel? That is because obviously we are the aloe vera company and it makes total sense that we will be drinking aloe vera on a daily basis. The only thing you have to do is make a decision which flavor you prefer. So the reason that we're saying um, get ready for your holiday and drinking aloe vera is because when we look at the ingredients that we have in aloe vera, aloe vera cont contains a whole cocktail of nutrients. And it's the nutrients in aloe vera that are going to support your body to be the best it can be. So most people, they want to have great skin, hair and nails, a good, strong immune system, digestive system. They don't want to be tired. And when you think about all of those things alone, those are things that you will be supporting while you're away on holiday. 
So um, we have, if we take the, the plain gel at the, the front there, that contains 99.7% aloe vera. And we've added a little bit of vitamin C in there, which is as a regulator. That's like squeezing a little bit of lemon juice on a cut ap apple uh, to stop it going off. But also we know that vitamin C has uh, lots of benefits for your body uh, anyway and especially we'll be focusing on the fact that it's going to support a uh, healthy collagen for a uh, normal skin the function of normal skin so of course when we're going away on holiday especially we're going to be in the sun then we need to get that in place we need we know that our skin is going to be under more attack from uvas and uvbs from the sun and then also um, from the sun as well, we, we know that it's oxidative stress that can cause damage. That's another thing that vitamin C can do. We may be subjecting our digestive system to a little bit more um, drink maybe and rich foods. So um, to be taking that cocktail of nutrients that you get in aloe vera to support your digestive health and your body is going to be exposed to different things, different environments. So we really need to support our immune health as well. As you can see on the slide, it says, are you drinking enough? Well, what we mean by that is, if you look at the side of the actual Tetra Pak, it says the average serving size is 120 mils a day. So with that in mind then, you would take that, that liter and that's going to last you 120 meals a day, just over eight days. And of course, we know that we can get our Tetra in our tri-pack, which means you get three. You can, you can have a mixed one or you can have the plain or just all peaches or the berry nectar. That's entirely up to you. But make sure that you are drinking enough and you are, your body is getting enough in it. So you're getting enough of those wonderful nutrients to support your, your body, as we've mentioned. Now, of course, a lot of people will say, oh, I'm going away. And can I put the aloe vera into my suitcase? Of course, you can put the aloe vera into your suitcase. Don't leave your aloe vera at home. In fact, it should be the first thing that goes in your suitcase. Why don't you take out that extra pair of shoes that you're thinking of packing and put in your aloe vera instead? But what I would be doing, rather than taking the actual litre, I would prefer to take the minis with me. It just makes it easier for when you're travelling and also often you find when you're staying in a, in a hotel room that the fridges are quite small. So once you have opened your aloe vera gel, remember we need to keep it refrigerated and it's a lot better to have the small, the minis, rather than the large one. So can we move to the next slide then, please? Um, I thought it would be quite useful to talk about some supplements to support you to get your, yourself um, ready for your holidays. But also, just like the drinking gel, I would definitely continue to take these supplements all the way through my holiday. In fact, um, when we look at these supplements, I take these, these every day anyway. So let's first of all look at our forever um, immublend. Now what you have in the immublend is you have vitamin C, vitamin D and zinc, which we know are there to support your immune system. And you need to take two of those a day. And one of the things you know what's going to happen with your immune system, it is going to be subjected to a different environment. And if you're traveling on a plane there, you know what always makes me laugh about going on planes? And they say, oh, you've got fresh air above your head. Uh, <laughs> all it is is the stale air from the front of the plane coming down to you. So, of course, can you imagine all those germs and all those things that be uh, floating around inside the plane alone? And uh, the Immublend is one of my most favorite supplements that I take two of those every single day. 70% of your immune system actually resides in your gut and we need to also support our gut health. So the next product we have down on the list is our Forever Active Pro B, which is our probiotic. Now, of course, we know that while we're away on holiday, especially if we're going abroad, then your body is going to be exposed, your, your, your digestive system as well as your skin is going to be exposed to different bugs, different bacteria. So it's really important that we support our, our gut flora while we're away. And the other thing as well is that um, you are going to be pushing yourself a little bit more. You're going to be 
probably uh, depends where you go, but uh, you can be staying up later than you normally would and uh, maybe just on the go a little bit more if you're going sightseeing and doing all these different things. So a combination of a probiotic and immune blend, um, both of those for your gut flora as well as your natural defenses, they are great friends and they work um, in syner synergistically together. Now the A-beta care is also an interesting one. The A beta care contains vitamin A in the form of beta carotene. So beta carotene is vitamin A that comes from fruits and vegetables. It doesn't come from um, animal sources. And then we have vitamin E, which uh, supports the body from oxidative stress. And also we have selenium. And selenium vitamin A are really good ingredients that contribute to normal skin. So what we need to do is we need to build up our, the amount of a, a, sorry, the beta carotene we're putting in our body from the A-beta care because vitamin A is something that is linked to the pigmentation that you have in your skin, which is called melanin. Now, when we get to tan, what you're literally doing is you, your body is promoting more of that melanin production and that's why we actually go darker in colour. And the beta carotene in this product is something that I would definitely start taking probably a month before I'm going to be exposing my skin to more UVAs and UVBs. So that would be my supplement support. Remember, that would be before, during, and as I said, after as well. So if you can move to the next slide then, please. Now, at this moment in time, we have a special promotion that is our aloe vera jelly. And if you buy three aloe vera jelly, you will get a protecting day lotion absolutely free. Now, the aloe vera jelly is one of those products that is a, a must-have product for every family bathroom because it is such a versatile product. What we literally have here is the aloe vera gel fillet from inside the leaf and we literally take that and we mix it with a little bit of glycerin so it's a little bit sticky so it can easily adhere to the skin. This is our product that has about 84% aloe vera in it with the glycerin, but this is the one that is our cooling and soothing product. When we go away on holiday, in the best world in the world, if you're out in the sun, isn't it easy just to miss a bit? And, um, and so sometimes our skin can become quite red and sore. So to be able to put the jelly onto those areas it's, uh, it's perfect to have. And one of the things that I love about this product is when it is really, really cool. So why not keep it in the fridge? And also if you have a cool box or something like that, I know often when people go on holiday, they, they will have picnics and things like that. Always have it with you, ready to go. And of course, sometimes we get mosquitoes that like to do a merry dance on our skin. And so the aloe vera jelly is the perfect product that you can pop on your skin after the mosquito has been to visit. So can we move to the next slide then, please? And here's the protecting day lotion. Remember, get your three jellies and you will get this absolutely free. Now this has been specifically designed for the face and it has a sun protection factor of 20. Now, what that means in, in simple terms is that if you know that your skin will start to feel a little bit um, prickly, you might say, after 15 minutes, in theory, you times that by 20 and it's going to give you that protection. For some people, it's not 15 minutes, it's 30 minutes. The darker your skin is, uh, then you have more of that melanin, that pigmentation in your skin. Uh, for some people, they're in the sun for literally five minutes and they go, oh, I can feel the sun. So you kind of take that and times it by 20. But really, casting that all aside, the key to any sunscreen in any form, whether it's this one of your face or the one that you can use all over your body is to reapply, reapply, reapply. Because what will break down any sun protection factor, whether it's this one or our aloe sunscreen, is when it is in contact with anything to do with water, which can be from sweating, 
but also it can be from say going in in the sea but then salt and salt can also break it down so we need to be reapplying our our products to protecting day lotion at least every two hours um, what we also have in here is to be specifically designed for the face as I said the face and the neck is you have this mineral which is a zinc oxide and also we have a mushroom extract in here now this mushroom extract has the ability to hold up to 500 times its own weight in water so it is attracting moisture to the skin and there are some other botanicals in there as well so if we can move to the next slide then please okay so what else would we want to pop into our suitcase well first of all we have the aloe lotion and people will say to me what do you have as an after sun lotion now obviously the aloe lotion is quite a small tube but this is a this is a great product that you can use to condition your face and your body and what's great about aloe vera it has the same ph as the skin so it's a suitable product for absolutely everybody and the reason that i like the lotion is because it's slightly thinner than using the purple moisturizing lotion but a little tip for you is to take your aloe first spray as you can see which is the next product i want to talk about and in your aloe first in in that particular contain there's normally like a little bit of a gap up, up at the top and you can literally take your aloe lotion and you can squeeze the aloe lotion into the aloe first now i used to live in spain and this is what i use as my after sun lotion all the time because what you have created just shake it before spraying it all over your body it becomes like a moisturizing milk and it certainly goes on and on and on but before you put the aloe lotion in there or you want to maybe take some of the, um, the aloe lotion and the aloe first and put it into, into another pump or spray bottle, the aloe first in its own right is a fabulous product, especially if, if you want to put it into your hair. Now we know when we're away, uh, we, our hair is in being uh, subjected to chlorine and um, it can also be salt from the sea and just the dry dryness of the sun. So it's great actually just to spray into your hair after you've washed your hair, it's a leave-in conditioner. So you can use it for that. But also sometimes when, especially the guys um, who haven't been wearing caps on their head, or ladies as well, if you haven't been wearing a hat, we can get a little bit of soreness, especially where your part in is and that is not nice at all so to be able just to spray that onto your scalp is, a, is another great idea as well and then we have the aloe sunscreen uh it is a, a brand new formula it is nothing like the old formula at all it is a completely new product we've added um, more natural botanicals in there this has a sun protection factor of 30 and it will give you like 97% protection from UVBs, which are the, the burning rays. So this is a broad spectrum protection, which means it's going to protect you from UVAs, which are your aging rays, and UVBs, which are your burning rays. Now, as I said before, the key to using any sunscreen is reapply, reapply, reapply. So the best thing to do is to apply it to your skin before going out in the sun, about 15 minutes before. And one of the things that people have spoken about is that, oh my gosh, I look really white. That is down to the mineral that we have in there that is zinc oxide. And what that's doing is it is reflecting away those burning rays and that's why it's a little bit white but a little tip for you is not to put a massive blob on your skin all in one go it's about layering it up you can take a pea-sized amount and you massage it into your skin and then you can apply a little bit more a little bit more where you get that whiteness is where you're just actually applying too much all in one go but remember that it is there for a reason because 
it has to reflect away those burning rays. Now, of course, the biocellulose mask, what a perfect product that you can pop into your suitcase because they come in these little sachets. And this is the time when your skin has been subjected to a, a lot more uh, dryness from the atmosphere that the biocellulose mask is a perfect product that you can pop in your suitcase. What I would actually do, though, is a little bit of extra goodness while you're away is to put the aloe vera jelly onto your skin first of all, and then put the biocellulose mask over the top. And remember, if you can keep your biocellulose mask and your jelly in the fridge, they're both really cool. It just feels absolutely amazing on your skin. Can we go to the next slide then, please? Okay, so I just thought what I would do is give you a few extra little practical tips um, about some of our products and what you can do with them. Now, of course, for us ladies, we like to get our body uh, prepped for the sun and we may start to look at uh, our hands and our feet. There's nothing worse than wearing flip-flops when you have the worst looking heels in the world. So what I would first of all suggest is the aloe vera scrub. Now, um, this is great as an exfoliator. It has tiny spheres of jojoba, which will not tear and drag your skin. And you can literally massage this into your feet and into your hands. And uh, obviously your body, but I'm gonna come back to that. So there's a little bit of um, a pampering for your feet and your hands before you go away. Then literally take the scrub and, and do that. Then soak your, your feet. And obviously you can do the same thing with your hands for a little while. And then after that, if we move down to the third product on the list, is our marine mask. Now that is a clay based mask and within that mask we have some really lovely ingredients. Obviously our aloe, we have marine extracts, we have cucumber and honey and it's really good to literally envelop your feet and your hands in the mask. What you can then do is to put cling film over your feet and your hands and you know how you can buy those um, those booties where you can put your your feet into warm booties you can do that or if you don't have that then you can literally take your feet in your hands and wrap them into a towel and leave your feet and your hands like that for about half an hour then you rinse off the marine mask and then uh, you are going to apply some alpha e factor which has aloe vera vitamin e and also it has bisabolol, which is essence of chamomile, all those wonderful ingredients, massage it all into your feet, especially around your heels, and also especially around your nails because it is great for uh, conditioning oil for nails, so that's for your, your uh, toes as well as your, your fingers. And then finally, to use the aloe propolis cream as a great foot cream, a nourishing foot cream, and also for your hands. So that's a, a great way to get your hands and your feet ready for getting in the sun. Now, um, also to prepare your skin before going into the sun, we really need to remove those layers of dead skin cells. So what I would suggest, the the smoothing exfoliator is something you would use on your face. You never use an exfoliator on your face more than three times a week. Uh, so I would definitely suggest that you would use it three times in the week, um, prepping your skin before you go away. But I also wouldn't use it the night before I go away because we don't want to overdo things with our skin when we know it's going to be subjected maybe to a lot of sun the next day. Um, and so you're going to get your face ready for that. But also the aloe, the aloe scrub, you can use that on your body every day. So it's really important that you are getting rid of the buildup of dead skin cells on, the, on your your skin because one of the things we don't want is all that horrible peeling and flaking of skin we want to keep our tan for as long as we as we can when we get back next slide then please and as a lot of you know i travel around quite a bit and i'm often on a plane and one of the things that i have found is that it is really important to have a forever travel kit in your hand luggage why? It's because I have found, and I hope it doesn't happen to you, that my suitcase doesn't arrive and there's nothing worse than when you're traveling and you haven't got your important little products there. Uh, but the other thing that I found works really well, especially if you're on 
a plane that you're going to be on for quite a while to have that with you and first of all to be able to freshen up a little bit so to um, clean your teeth so make sure you've taken a toothbrush with you and also the moisturizing and moisturizing lotion is great uh, to to put onto your onto your hands and also onto your face and then the hand sanitizer oh my gosh is one of my favorite products because it is so versatile and <laughs> this sounds really awful to say but the first thing that I do when I sit on a plane I get the hand sanitizer out and I wipe down <laughs> the actual uh, tray of, that's on the plane because I was reading an article while I was on a plane about how many germs and bacteria are on on that tray so ever since then I just take my hand sanitizer and I wipe it down. And I'll tell you what else I've done is that I've been sitting next to somebody who I don't know, and they're wondering what I'm doing. I say, and it's a great talking point for the business. So he <laughs> said, so do you want to wipe down yours as well? And of course you're putting onto your hands. And of course, once you've used the, the facilities on the plane, it's also nice to be able to make sure that you're nice and fresh. And the RG, take some sachets. Um, if you're going on long haul flights, one of the worst things when you're on long haul flight is that you can be sitting on a cramped, in a cramped seat and uh, we need to keep our circulation up. So it's very, very easy to just take the archery sachets with you. And what I do is when I'm on a long haul flight, I will uh, take one as I get on the plane and obviously drink water with it. And if it's going to, be, and, and when I get off as well, but also you can take one during the flight. So that is really a, a, a great little tip for you to make sure you have that if you are going to be on a long haul flight. And can we have the next slide, please? And so finally, when you go get back home, um, the Alpha Refactor again, what, what I put that for is because we may have overdone things uh, with our hair is not looking good, especially if you have color treated hair. So the alpha E factor, literally when your hair is, uh, if you wash your hair and just literally use the shampoo first of all, and so with, with, when you've washed your hair, you take the alpha E factor and massage it into the scalp. So you're giving your scalp a bit of a, a treatment with hot oil because what you're going to do is then put a towel on your head to keep all the heat in. It's really, really nourishing. It's got that wonderful bisabalol, which is the essence of chamomile in there. And I would be putting that on my head while I was relaxing in a bath with um, a little glass of bubbles. Bubbles with bubbles always works. So I would be uh, relaxing. And then after about half an hour, I would take the towel off. And then what you do is you, you take your conditioner, your forever conditioner, and then you will comb the alpha E factor that's still on your scalp and your hair all the way through and leave it for about another five minutes before you rinse it off. And then of course, while you're in the bath, you're going to put the biocellulose mask on your face. It makes total sense that you are going to really put all the moistures back in your skin after you've subjected it to all those UVAs and UVBs. And then finally, you've got the washing to do. Oh gosh, but it, we have to think about um, all those clothes that we've worn, especially the ones that have been in contact with chlorine, so all your swimwear, things like that, chlorine and salt, and also um, all the other things in there as well that might have got, you know, you want to look after the, the um, cottons and things like that as well. So what I love about the MPD, it's a really, really great formula. It's really gentle just to wash your clothes so they're not being subjected again to more harsh detergents and things after they have been subjected to the chlorine, the salt, the sand and the sun. And that's my little bit over. So thank you very much for listening. So hi everybody, uh, my name is Sue Fairclough, probably a lot of you don't know who I am. Um, I've been in the business nearly four years now, it'll be four years the end of September, and I actually joined just for the discount of the products. I was a lover of the products, I had been for four or five months, <clears throat> I'd been asked to have a look at the business, and I said no, I'm too, I was too busy, I have a traditional business that I've had 32 years, I have a bridal shop. So for me, having another business was out of the question. 
but I actually fell in love with the products. So I would not want 35% discount off all the products I was buying. So that's what I did to just join for the discount. And very quickly, my love and passion for the products. I started to tell people what I was using, people were asking what I was using. And very quickly, it grew into a business that has just taken over my life. And now I actually only work two days a week in my bridal business. Um, it's given me that option to have some time back. Um, so now, um, sorry, my phone's ringing. I, I was just about to start my phone, start ringing. <laughs> so yeah, it's, it's given me that um, I have choices now and I have time back. And now I'm a manager, I get a bigger discount, which is even better, better reason to join. So I'm not Louise Riley. You know, we have over 200 products. And so I think sometimes when you start, it's quite um, daunting to, to see all these products, you know, and think that you need to know everything about every single one of these products. I'm still four years in. I've been writing lots of notes off, off Louise there. So, you know, we're always, always learning. What I tend to do is streamline it. So I have seven to 10 core products. And these are products that I use every single day and that I love and then I can easily recommend. So personal use is the biggest thing that you need to do. You know, I wouldn't recommend a film if I'd not been there. I wouldn't recommend a restaurant if I'd not at there. So why would I recommend a shampoo that I'd never used? So by using the products, you will fall in love and get your favourites and you will easily find, it'll be easy to talk to people about it. You know, and I think if you streamline your products to seven to 10, you know, I have extras, but if I streamline it to seven to 10, you can research them easily. You know, you, there's lots of ways that you can research the products, research the ingredients, research the um, unique selling points. You know, one of the... Um, main things that I use, and I, I've actually downloaded it and I have it in a file, is the product manual that we have on Forever Knowledge. It is the, it is key to my business. If anybody asks me a question, I refer to the product manual. It has all the ingredients. It has what you can say compliantly about that product. And it is a must if you want to know the ins and outs of the products. Also, webinar trainings like this, you know, with the skincare trainings I must have watched over and over and over again. I think I know the biocellulose mask one word for word. Um, and head office trainings. You know, I've been to every single head office training. I tend to do them every single year. I think I've done the weight management and the supplement ones four times every single time because we're in a fast growing industry and things change all the time. Ingredients change. Um, so it, it's really important to keep up with, with the current um, products that are about and the current ingredients. So become an expert in those seven to 10 products that you love and you use, and you will find it really easy to talk to people. And I think the most important thing is to show people how you use those products. You know, it's very well using them at home behind closed doors, but if you're not showing people and talking to people about how you use them, um, no one's, you know, no one's going to know about it. So people will buy from people and people will buy from you because they trust and they believe and they, they, they believe what you're saying is true. So you, you've got to become an expert about it. And I think as well, you've got to know your customers' goals, ask them questions. You know, I have, sometimes I'll have a, um, on my VIP page, I'll post something and I'll have a, um, a customer show an interest in a product. And then when I've asked them questions, I realise that that product isn't right for them. So I can recommend something else for them. So know your customers, you know, always ask questions and always chase the relationships and not um, the sale because the sale will come if you build the relationships. You know, and it's my job um, to help and educate all my customers about my products. If they buy, that's great. If they don't, I've just given them advice and it's up to them. So I am going to um, show you some of my social media and some how I've used these products over the summer before I went away. Um, while I was away, you know, I've, I've literally been back about four, five days. So the first two weeks in August, I was away and I'm already 10 case credits. 
So by showing people how I've used these products on holiday, I've, I've done a lot of sales. So can we have the next slide, please? So the first one, um, aloe drinking gel. Like Louise said, you know, we drink this. I drink this every single day. I have for four years. Why would I not drink it on holiday? Why would I leave it at home? Because I know the benefits of how it makes my body feel. How, why would I not drink it for two weeks while I'm away? Because I would feel awful. So showing up on my social media, in my stories, on my VIP page, pictures there, it's like never miss a day, even on holiday. You know, I'm showing people that I'm drinking it every single day. So people know that I use the products. So they want to know what it is. You know, if people see me using it, then they're more likely to want it. I have um, messaged all my customers, all my gel drinkers know that it comes. I call it the travel size because everybody goes on holiday. So they all know it comes in travel size. So when um, they've come to go on holiday, you know, it, it is a lot to carry one of those big ones around. But the little ones, you can fit them around your suitcase. You know, my husband always moans about me being overweight. He didn't even notice that I had four little minis in my suitcase this year. Um, so it's easy to, to fit them around. So all my jail drinkers know that it comes in a mini. Some of them who have, who drink four a month, I actually give them one free, just so they know, you know, they can see how it is. So I sold 36 bottles um, in mini ones in July for, for people going on holidays. Some people will take the big ones if they're going away for two weeks, they, you know, they don't mind taking the big one. But I think it's really important that the, you let your customers know that they should still be drinking it while they're on holiday. And like Louise said, the benefits of drinking it on holiday, as you can see there, I, I do take the active Pro B. I am a massive advocate on um, probiotics and we do have the best probiotic and I did take it on holiday. Um, so yeah, next slide, please. So the aloe jelly. This, when uh, most of the things I've written down, Louise had said, every single person should have this in their house. You know, I have probably three, but three in my house, one in the bathroom, there's one in my bag, they're everywhere. Every single person should have one of these. It's the most versatile product that we do. Every single one of my customers has had a jelly sample or buys a jelly. So when it came on, buy three jellies, get one free, this was amazing. But then I was thinking, who would buy three jellies? So I'm going to tell you how I've sold it like that. Um, I took this on holiday. I actually took three on holiday. I had, like Louise said, I had one in the fridge. I had one in my beach bag and I had one in my bag that I went out at night just because it is so versatile. I've used it as after sun. I used it as a hair treatment. So I actually one night covered my hair in it, wrapped it in a towel. We were staying in, having a meal in, in and I had a treatment on my hair because I have coloured hair and the sun, oh, it just destroyed it. You know, it's like skin irritations, anything like that. Um, it can be used for absolutely everything. So a lot of my customers who are gel drinkers, what are, uh, who are jelly buyers, I give every single one of them a little, you know, the jelly samples that we get and ask them to give it to somebody who they think might like it. So that way they are being referring, we're on a recommendation company, so they are recommending it to me, for me. So they, they think it's really nice, they go, oh, I know somebody who'd really like this. So I always give them little ones and say, I know you love the jelly, do you know anybody who would like it? So I've had a lot of referrals from that. <coughs> also, um, the day lotion. So this is the, um, the offer, you get three and you get a day lotion. Who do you know that would benefit from that day lotion? I have a lot of runners who use the day lotion. A lot of people who work outside, I recommend it too. Um, I have one customer who puts it on a children when they go to school because they find sun cream too heavy. So they put the day lotion on them, which is a really good idea. So when I was thinking about who would benefit from this promotion, I was thinking about my customers. So I privately messaged them all. I had one lady who buys the day lotion and the jelly. So I told her about that. In, in effect, she got two jellies free. 
So she bought that. I had um, a customer who is always recommending people to me. Now I know her niece uses it and her, her sister uses it and she'd never use the day lotion. So I messaged and said, you know, if you, if you buy three, you can, you know, give your niece one and your sister one, they'll get a free day lotion. So obviously she wanted the free day lotion. And then I had a lot of individual people. So you can think you can split this. You don't have to think that the person has to buy the whole incentive. So this week, when was it? Monday, I put an order in. I had five orders for jellies from, from my holiday, from my, um, you know, show, putting it on stories and Instagram and things like that. So what I did, I bought two of the incentives, split it. One, the one day lotion is going in an experience pack. And the other day lotion is going as an incentive on my VIP page. So what I'm going to do is give it as an incentive and ask anybody to recommend somebody for an experience pack for one of the summer experience packs that I do. And then everyone's names will go in a hat and they will get that free day lotion. So don't think you have to sell it all. You can use it as your experience packs, give them away as incentives for your customer customers and mix it up like that. So it is a really, really good incentive. I think it does it, is it till the end of the month? I think it goes on. I know uh, Charlotte at the end will tell you um, when it finishes. So yeah, split it all up or whatever, but it, it is an amazing incentive. Um, I know I've got the extra jelly for myself um, because I've, I went through three on holiday, I can't believe it. So next screen, please. So the aloe sunscreen, I absolutely love this. Now I, I don't usually use a factor 30. I'm really naughty, I am a sun worshiper and I never use a factor 30. But this year I did, I thought it was really hot and I thought I'm gonna use it. These are from two different holidays. I went away beginning of July and, and I've just been away. So you can see, I'm always taking pictures of me holding the jellies, different ways you can use it. Customers put that on my VIP page, you know, the reviews on it. I found it's one of the best sunscreens I've ever used. Now, the type of person who's gonna go for this sunscreen, it's not the type of person, you've got to think about your clients. Nobody has said to me, this is an expensive sunscreen because the target market I'm going for, I'm not going for someone who is not concerned about what they put on the skin. I'm not going for someone who buys their sunscreen from Poundland. I am going for someone who's really concerned about what they put on their skin. You know, when you think what you put on your skin, I think it's 90 seconds before it's in your bloodstream. So people are more aware. It's not a chemical sunscreen, it's a mineral sunscreen. And the ingredients in it are well worth um, that money. So it is, it's, a, it's a high premium sunscreen. Now my kids have used it and it's the first time my kids really suffer um, with skin irritations on holiday usually sunscreens tend to block it um, they tend to make it worse so this is the first time they've not had in any irritations using the sunscreen and i found it to be really really waterproof you know they've been in the water come out i can still see they've got the sunscreen on which is really good so i shared a lot of stories using my sunscreen um, i was actually the last day squeezing out the last little bit of it um, and just by showing up every day, showing up in my stories on Instagram, my stories on Facebook, on my VIP page, I get orders from that because people can see I use it. And you can see um, the picture on the right, the beta care, the sunscreen, um, the lotion and the sun lips. I do an experience pack. It's like a summer experience pack. Now, after a Louise's um, talk, I'm going to add things into that experience pack that I never thought of doing. Um, that's a really good way. I started getting my summer experience pack out at the beginning of the year, but about May it was because um, people start going on holiday. But like Louise said, September, October, there's still people I know going on holiday. So since I've been back, I've had to make two summer experience packs to get them out because people like to try it beforehand. So that's a really good way of getting customers to um, try the products first. So next slide, please. Aloe First. This is one of my favourite, favourite products. 
I actually use this on my dog. I think it, you know, it's very similar to the vet spray, but it is my favorite product. You can't see that, but that was a little video of me spritzing it on my body. I have, I took two on holiday, I put one in the fridge and I took one down with me when I'm sunbathing. It is the most cooling, amazing thing you can spray on yourself. I've got some tan, I've got my sunscreen on, but I just spray it on myself throughout the day. It kept my skin hydrated. It kept it cool, kept it really conditioned. I even, you know, it, my skin was so soft from using it every single day, a little spray. I used it in my hair in the morning before I went down I would tie my hair up in a bun and spray my hair completely it was then wringing wet with it tie it in a bun that would do me for the day when I washed it overnight got out the shower shampooed conditioned sprayed it brushed it through my hair left it I left it to dry um, naturally and I used it like that used it as an after sun sprayed it on the kids I sprayed it on everything I think I went through two bottles on holiday but I never thought to put the aloe lotion in, so I'm going to try that one. That was a really good idea. Um, I shared a lot. I always ask customers to share their reviews. So I, when I put this on my VIP page, a lot of customers were um, commenting, saying, this is the best product ever. I've loved this on my holiday. So try and get customers to do that because other customers then were looking at that and messaging me and going, can you tell me about the aloe first? Can you tell me, you know, what have you done with it? So by showing up every day and being consistent, um, you can get a lot of customers like that. So next slide, please. So biocellulose mask. I am gutted I only took one away with me. It was a last minute thing. I seen it and I threw it in my bag. Sun is the most damaging thing you can that there is. Now I am a sun worshiper. I absolutely love the sun, but my skin, even though I was using everything, I, I, that was about eight days in, was dying for a drink. Absolutely dying for a drink. So one night before I was going out, I put it on. Now usually it's I can get twenty minutes, half an hour out of a mask before it starts going tacky, you know, it goes a little bit tacky where your dry bits on. I put that mask on and within 10 minutes it was bone dry. That's never happened. So my skin actually like sucked the whole thing in. But I'm so glad I took it. I put it in the fridge like Louise said and it was the most amazing thing. So you can see I had a nice shine afterwards. My skin felt plump, it felt hydrated and it felt like I hadn't been in the sun, if you know what I mean. So what I did is um, before I went away, this is, I, I do sell quite a lot of biocellulose masks. I sell them individually. A lot of people, my really, really good um, customers, I have a lot of customers that spend a hundred pounds over a month. I gave them all one. When I know they were going on holiday, I gave them a free one. You know, it's like a bit of customer thank you for the, um, all, the all the customers they give me all year. So I gave them a free biocellulose mask. I had a lady message me while she was on holiday um, to say she'd used it and she'd loved it. Could she buy two boxes? So she bought two boxes to give to all her friends who were going on holiday. So again, somebody else is raving about the products and somebody else is recommending them because I gave it to her free. So sometimes just by spending a little bit of money, it's an experience pack at the end of the day. Um, I am going to be putting some of them in my experience pack because I think everybody should take them on holiday. I've come back, I've just ordered myself a box so I can keep my tan as long as possible um, and keep my skin hydrated as long as I can. So that is a little bit of my um, summer survival list. Now, um, I've gone over a little bit of my favourites. This is what I took on holiday and how I've done it, how I've um shared it while i've been away should i say um so let me know what your favorites are you know if there's something we've not talked about let me know because i'd like to add it to my list um and i'm going to pass it back over to charlotte because i think charlotte's going to go over the um incentive and she's going to go over some questions so if anyone's got any questions we'll be happy to answer them so thank you thanks um so just just while i remember um because we'll, you mentioned during that um the jelly and protecting day lotion offer um it ends on the 30th of august so the friday at 5 p.m 
Okay. <laughs> but thank you for mentioning it. <laughs> <laughs> um, so um, for every campaign that we do um, at Head Office, we do provide tools on Forever Knowledge to help you guys promote them. Um, so many of the tools are always available just in sort of different places. Um, but whenever we do a specific campaign, we'll have a landing page where all of the tools for that campaign are on there. So obviously this one is jelly and protecting day lotion. So um, on Forever Knowledge, on the FBO side, when if you look at the top bar, it's just on the left hand side, it says aloe vera jelly, I think. Um, and if you click that page, that's where all of this, you'll find all of this stuff or links to it at least. Um, so for this month, we've got social posts, website images, videos, um, product manual pages, as you mentioned, um, and we've also got four blogs. So two of them have already gone out. You can find those on the blog, um, which is on the consumer side of Forever Knowledge. Um, and then we've got how to protect your skin in and out of the sun and tips to prolong your tan coming soon. So they'll be out before the end of the month. Um, I thought I had another point there, but I forgot what it was. <laughs> um, but yeah, so you can find all of these things on there. So do use them. They're all compliant, all shareable, great tools to use. Um, and then just a reminder of this month's retail incentive. Um, so as you mentioned, we've got the um, protecting day lotion offer if you buy three aloe vera jelly tubes. Um, so you just have to order code 20061 to get the offer. Um, if you buy three aloe vera jellies outside of that code, um, you don't get the free protecting day lotion. So do make sure you use that code. Um, but we are going to be rewarding the FBO who sells the most of that code between 10 a.m. on Thursday the 1st and 5 p.m. on Friday the 30th when the offer ends. Um, and they'll receive a very special prize along with a free aloe vera jelly and a protecting day lotion as well. So do make sure that you're pushing for it and good luck to everyone with that. And now I'll take us on to questions. So please do send in your questions. We've had a few through so far, um, but I will read them out to Louise and Sue to the answers. So where should we start? Um, we've had a question from Janet, which I think is for Louise. Can you not use aloe scrub on your face? Yes, you can use the aloe scrub on your face. Um, of course you can. But the difference between the two scrubs, um, the aloe scrub just has Yehoba Sophia's in it. So what that is doing, it's more of like massaging the areas. But then in the, the Target product, then that has three ingredients. And what that's doing, it's do, it has the Yehoba which has that kind of massaging effect. So where you have block pores and things like that, blackheads, it's to help to kind of massage those areas. But then we also have bamboo extract and that has a brushing effect. And then finally, we have some ingredients that come from pineapple and or bromelain from pineapple and papain from papaya. And what these do, they kind of change the, uh, the surface of the skin uh, from being a little bit sticky. We have an acid mantle and it's there as like a protection for us, but because it's a bit sticky, it holds on to stuff, dirt, grime, debris and dead skin cells. So to make it less sticky, you've got a three in one product. So for me, because we know the skin on our face is more delicate than the skin on the rest of our body, it makes sense to use something that has been specifically really designed to put on the face. So you're having that kind of massaging effect, the brushing effect and the, and the dissolving of the acid mantle, which is on the surface of your skin. So um, just to answer that, you can use both, but I would definitely go for the one that's kind of designed for the face. Thank you. Um, we've had a question from Lynn that I think came through when Sue you were talking about the using the aloe first. She said, how do you use it on dogs? I use it like the vet spray. So I've got um, an English pointer who has no hair on her, on her belly. So it's completely like just skin. And she tends to get a lot of irritation. So she quite, I just spray it on her. It's just aloe, isn't it? So I just spray it on her and it keeps her cool and it helps with the irritations. 
I think the difference if people sorry if people know the difference between the two products so yeah. exactly what Sue's saying you can use the aloe first on your dog you don't have to use the vet spray the only difference between the two is that within the aloe first you have about 78 percent aloe vera and the rest is botanical so you've got spirea bladderwrack ivy clematis all these goodies so what you're doing is is giving your dog a little bit of an extra treatment you might say it's like going to the salon <laughs> it's salon treatment it's a dog. shiny coat <laughs> yeah um we've had a question in saying that they can't hear the questions that i'm reading out so um just in case that is the case and people can't hear me could you guys just repeat the question when you're answering it okay yes. yeah. you're answering. thank you um so we've had a question is there a minimum age for immublend can children take it okay so the question was is there a minimum age for immublend and can children take it i think um one of the things about a lot of our products is that they have been specifically you might say designed for adults but if you want to give your child the immu blend um, then you can give your child the immu blend one of the things that i always say is that generally speaking when it comes to supplements unless they actually say that they are a supplement for a child then the supplement would be designed for an adult but you can give them to to children of course you can give them to children um, because I mean, what you have in the Immu Blend, if you think about what's in there, you've got vitamin C, vitamin D, and zinc, which is important for our immune health. The other two ingredients in there, you have um, something called lactoferrin. And lactoferrin is a protein. And this protein uh, works in a way similar to what you get in mother's breast milk called colostrum. And we know that colostrum is in, it's like that that the richness that you get that is there to support the baby's um, defense system. Because when a baby's born, there's, they have no defense system. It's built up by what you give to the baby. And lactoferrin, I just need to point out, lactoferrin is not colostrum, but it works <laughs> in the same way. I'm just making that sure in case people think, what have you been putting into that supplement? No, we don't have breast milk in that. It's absolutely fine. Don't worry. But it, it works in the same way. It's something that is in, that we find um is an ingredient that is 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 there um that people will will have it's part of our um immune health you might you might say so what i'm saying is that, that it's absolutely fine um but generally speaking our products have been designed for adults but yeah um perfect i'll probably say one a day for a child if they're small um you know what 10 year olds can be the same height as a a 25 year old these days so kind of go more on the sizing rather than the age that's what i say so two if they're a bigger <laughs> yeah yeah thank you uh, how much aloe is there in aloe first 78 percent beat me to it <laughs> very quick <laughs> uh what have we got here uh, how does the aloe vera jelly compare to other aloe products on the market? So I guess that's like other aloe vera jelly sort of ones. <laughs> okay. No, nothing else compares to it. <laughs> okay. So, ba so, basically, so basically what you have to remember, we are the aloe vera company. And what yeah. we have is we have all our products the aloe vera is essentially identical to what you're getting in the leaf. And what we have, we have a stabilization process. In the stabilization process that we have in our, in our tubes, so that's like our jelly, our propolis, our heat lotion, the aloe lotion, moisturizing lotion, all our tubes. We have what I like to call, um, it's cosmetic aloe, because the stabilization process that we use to keep aloe as nature intended is that we add ingredients in there um, such as vitamin E, vitamin C. We have preservatives in there which are uh, potassium sorbate and sodium benzoate and they actually come from berries and we also add a little bit of citric acid which obviously derive from citrus fruits 
Um, and all those ingredients collectively, that is what is being put together for the stabilization process. And it's a painted stabilization process, which means nobody can copy the way that we stabilize our aloe and that will deliver aloe to the end consumer and it's still active. Yeah. And I think as well, they need to look and see if they've got the stamp of approval, you know, the aloe certification. There's very few companies that have the aloe certification on it as well. So that means that it's, it's over a certain amount of, of aloe in that tube as well. So it's, yes. you know, to look for that. Definitely. Yes. Yeah. Well, um, I'll just read a last question that's not a question from Sheila Lemon that says, I just want to thank you both, Louise and Sue, for a brilliant and extremely informative webinar. Oh, thank so. Thanks, thank Sheila. You. Thank you. Thank you, Sheila. See you soon, Sheila. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, thank you both very, very much for presenting, um, and thank you everyone for tuning in at eight pm on a Tuesday. We appreciate it, and we hope you've learned something. Um, and remember that everything, so the recording and the slides, will both be available on Forever Knowledge within the next week. So by next Tuesday, they'll definitely be up, but probably sooner than that. Um, and yeah, thank you very much. We'll see you again next time. <laughs> Good evening, everybody. Enjoy your evening and speak to you soon. Take care. Bye. 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 Bye.